John Lennon tune that the Beatles recorded and played partially live for a TV broadcast in 1967. It showed up, of course, the American album that it came out on was Magical Mystery Tour, but it was released as a single first in July of 1967, at least in the UK, a little later here in the States. But uh, a song that John really put together quickly and wanted to make it fairly simple. Well, there are a lot of simple things to this, it's, but there are some really tricky things, too. We're going to talk about a lot, of, a lot of cool things in this song. But uh, this, this broadcast was like a worldwide simulcast done over like five continents. And, and uh, they, if you've, hopefully you've seen the video of them all in the studio with Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, Graham Nash, Eric Clapton, all singing along and all in their psychedelic, you know, this was the summer of love here in San Francisco, which kind of spread all over the world. And um, a, lot of, a lot of really neat things in there. So, uh, so anyway, John put this song together for just... Uh, this live broadcast, and they really did pre-record a lot of it, but he sang it live, chewing gum the whole time. Many videos of Lennon, you see he's uh, chomping on gum while he sings. And uh, a few other parts were live, then they overdubbed a few parts the next day to, to clean it all up. But, but uh, one of my students asked me about this a little while ago, and my first impression was, oh, it's really simple, there's like nothing going on in there. And then I thought, wait, then I went and listened to it, and I thought, oh yeah, there's a time change, Every measure of E minor, most measures of E minor have three beats in them, whereas the other measures have four or two, just depending on how you want to think about them. And uh, it opens up with the French national anthem. This is the, that's what you heard here at the beginning. And then it goes into their, what's kind of a refrain that happens in this where they're singing love 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 right and where it's two beats of a G chord two beats of a D chord with F sharp in the bass and then three beats of E minor two and a couple of bass notes leading into it again uh, making the third beat so something kind of unusual in that and then that that rhythmic change keeps happening throughout the verse. And so main thing we have happening in the verse, and then we'll get it, we'll break down all these parts. I've got tab to it. And there are some really tricky things getting this these two notes connected to a chord up here. That's one of the things we're going to address in here is a really slick way of making it sound like this and not like this. Anyway. Um, oh, we're also going to look at the, the chorus and a nice little fill and a variation of it, an octave higher, maybe. So we're going to work in a lot of cool stuff in this lesson. Um, that's it for now. We'll take a look first at the pre-intro, the French theme, and then the intro, which is this the love, love, love thing. Then what happens in the verse? Pretty straightforward there. And what happens in the chorus? And the fills. Okay, coming up, a lesson on John Lennon's All You Need Is Love. <laughs> 